So here we have a, uh, a fork. It's, um, it's a specialized Venge fork. Um, it doesn't say it on it, but we've seen plenty of these over the time. It is the uh, special team layup. Um, so we're going to have a look at a, um, do, do a scan on it. There was a couple of uh, suspect areas that were brought to our attention and uh, yeah so we'll show you uh, we'll show you the scan so first we'll just put a bit of a bit of water to act as a coupling agent now if you watch the screen we're trying trying hard to hold everything and uh, and shows but you've got a back wall signal showing up here And then, when we move over the area of the indication, we're getting an interface showing up here. So the back wall's about there. And then we're getting an indication here and here. And we go back to the back wall. So that's a really typical indication of, uh, of planar voids at multiple depth. So if you watch the screen, you watch where the, the signal height is changing. So that's the thickness and that's the signal, um, signal strength. So that's on a good area. And there we go. We can also go on from the side, so on the, on the side of the part. There it's good. And then there's the indication. And then around the other side. And so that's sort of indicating that it is, it's quite narrow. Now the other thing we found, um, we found the indication in this region here down on the crown. So again, we'll just spray a little bit of water as a coupler. And if we go, so that's off the damage area, that's just to the, to the back of it. And then if we move around slowly, we're getting an interface showing up very close to the front wall over here. It's hard to hold it. Okay. If I can hold it with my leg a little bit. There we go. So that's the back wall. And then if we move around, the back wall signal starts dropping off. And we're getting another signal coming up right here at the front. There's also the same thing on the other side. And the other thing, I don't know if you can, let's see if you can hear that, but um, here it's, how it's just, it's dead in that point. So again, that's, um, very slight difference, but, so that's indicative, uh, again, of planar void. So on, on this fork, the, uh, the void, you can actually see it. So you can clearly see the planar void here. It's, um, it's quite close to the inner surface. You can also see that white, um, that sort of lighter color area, which is indicative of the problem as well. So how the person who cut the steerer didn't see that is sort of a little bit beyond me. So, I mean, you can see the uh, the hacksaw marks with the blue paint. Um, we'll have a better look at it on this view. You can also see at the top uh, left-hand corner, you can see a very small delamination on the edge where when the person cut it, it... Uh, 
it then tore away right on that edge so now we'll go along the um, the back face where you can see the, uh, the the length of it and also up where the stem uh, clamped the area and you can see that crack indication sort of right down the middle which is a result of the uh, delamination which is a result of the void so there you have it they're the indications on this fork and what it looks like on the uh, on the ultrasound a scan so as you can see we found uh, a couple of areas here at the crown on both sides uh, they're clearly voids we also found the um, on the on the back face we found a long uh, planar void as well and it had also been delaminated um, a bit further due to the um, due to the stem clamp so it's obvious that the having the void in that area uh, compromised the structural integrity of it and, and which then created the delamination. I suppose the disappointing thing is, you know, it, it says team issue layup and it's like, well, what, do they put voids in it to make it lighter or, or what? Um, you know, what's the quality control? You, know, you can see, visually you can see, if you look inside the steerer, you can see that, uh, that void. When the steerer was cut, you can see the void. It's like, yeah, and then that's caused problems. Now, um, you know, we, that area, you, like with the stem clamp, that delamination can grow and then cause a problem down the track. Um, these areas at the crown, um, I mean, there's, the lamina is very thick there. However, you know, if those if those voids do grow that's a really high stress area and yeah you know it's going to be a, a bad failure if it fails so anyway that's um that gives you a bit of an insight into into the scan and how we do it and um yeah hope you learned something we'll see you again soon okay bye